Greetings, friend. I'm going to show you how to find and solve the skyscraper in this puzzle, Vuvra Bicklera by Rock Rat Zero. I'm going to explain to you all the steps you need to take to get to that point where there's a skyscraper, how the skyscraper works, and what you do after solving that to get through the rest of this puzzle. Click below if you want to give it a go with that. It's solving time. Okay, so if you see a puzzle like this, first thing you want to do is you're kind of building this case to get to this point where you need the skyscraper. So two threes in rows four and six in this three here means we can solve that for three. You got this nine come down column nine. So you know this has to be a nine. And now you have a one, six, eight naked triple right here. I'll show you that. Uh, all these preliminary steps are key because a skyscraper is a... Uh, a skyscraper is a single digit advanced strategy and you're not going to look for those right away. You actually have to do some solves, make some more restrictions to get to that point where you get stuck with normal strategies. You can probably notice here too with this 168, you got a 6 and 8 right here. We can actually solve that cell right off the bat for a 1 and gives us a now naked pair of 6, 8. Let's get rid of the colors and we'll move on. All right. And with this 9 and this 9, you know, two spots for a 9 right there. Uh, use that center notation anytime. Only two possibilities for can three by three block. You'll mark those, and if you solve one of those, then the other one, uh, you solve this cell. The other one will have to be solved for the nine. It's going to help us with these advanced strategies. Um, something else cool. I have solved this puzzle before. Obviously, if I already know there's a skyscraper in it. Look at this cell right here. Believe it or not, this is a hidden single. This can't be a one, two, or three. It can't be a four. Can't be a five. Can't be a six. Can't be a seven or a nine. You can solve that cell right off the bat for a naked single eight. That's the only thing it can be. And now if you look here, the seven comes up column three. And so a seven has to be in one of these two spots in block four, which means the seven can't be in those spots. It can't be here. This has to be a seven. So we can solve that, which creates another naked triple. You see the six cells here? This is gonna be a naked triple, one, five, nine, and it's locked candidates. Locked candidates means that uh, not only does it have to be these three spots have to be one five nine in this column but also within the block so two different you know uh, two different houses where it satisfies okay moving forward here let's keep looking all right so you look sixes gotta be in two spots down here in block seven so this makes it a pointing pair sixes can't be anywhere else along row nine where i know it can't be here because of this six so six can't be here or here. You can actually solve this cell for a six. So there's a lot of play in this puzzle. In case you're wondering what uh, Vuvra Vikrala means, two-toned wyvern. A uh, wyvern is a type of dragon. This looks like a dragon head. That's where the name comes from. It's from the spooky pack. Uh, okay. Six, six. Got those sixes there. Now, what else do I want to focus on? Let's kind of look across here. What do we have? You need a three four and a six you got a four and a six there this is actually has to be your three and so then we have a naked pair four six so I'll, I'll mark the naked pair uh okay keep moving on because we again got a lot of good solving here that we can do um eight cutting across and this eight coming up means eight's one of those two spots we'll mark that all right and now the sevens there's actually a pretty good play here you got the seven cutting down column five the seven cutting across which means the sevens are a, a hidden pair with the nine. And so that means this can't be a seven anymore. And you actually solve your seven right there. Pretty cool how that how that plays out in this puzzle. Uh, all right. And then uh, let's look here. I got the one coming down. This one cutting across. This has got to be your one. We can mark that for a one. And then you got, looks like a five, six, eight. This can't be your eight, and this can't be your six. Cool. Okay, other things we want to solve. Um, look at this two, three. Two, three cutting across here. Two, three coming down. So the limits to two and three are the same two spots, a hidden pair. So building your case to get to the skyscraper, you want to look for these naked triples, naked pairs, hidden pairs, pointing pairs. This is going to really help, as I say, build the case. Seven cuts across row seven, so you can actually solve this for seven which is going to help us solve the 9 and the 7 right there. Nice. And then now the 9 can't be in these three spots, so this actually has to be your 9. And so it leaves us a 1-5 naked pair here, and this is going to be a naked triple across 
row seven. So we're looking at a one, five, eight, and you see the five and eight right here. So here's a one, here's a five. So this is a very fun puzzle because you're not just solving and moving on and having to look for something else. You see there's there's several techniques that are kind of baked in together. You have to kind of look at them together if you want to get the good solving in. So we're looking for a two, five across row six. We'll mark that in. And believe it or not, this is part of our skyscraper. So stay tuned because we got to keep going, figure out how we're going to get to the salt, right? Keep watching. And this reminds me of another puzzle I did that has quite a few skyscrapers and in very altered different directions. So I'm going to put a link to that at the end. Stay tuned, watch this all the way through. And you're going to love the, uh, the puzzle that I have linked at the end of this particular solve. Okay. Now we got the two, three here, two, three here. You got the six, six, two, six is four and four. All right, fours are limited to these two spots. So I'll mark that seven. Limited to those two spots. And then the seven will be limited to these two spots because the seven in row nine and column eight. Okay, can I do better? You know, I'm always kind of looking, can I do better? Let's look down this column here. What? We have one, two, three, five, nine. So we need a four, six, seven, eight. So this could be like a four, six, seven right now. This could be a seven, eight, and this could be could be a four, eight. Can't be a six because of that six or that six right there. Okay, can we do any solves with that other than knowing that uh, that the sixes are in one of those two spots, which we kind of already knew? Not really. All right, uh, let's move on. And so now I'm going to kind of look uh, this column. What are we what are we missing? And what we see here is we have a one, three, six, eight, nine. So you need a two, four, five, seven. So this would be two, four, five, four, five, seven, because we already got a two right there. Two, five, seven, and looks like maybe another two, four, five. Okay, great. Um, and then we look. Actually, you can look right here. I think we might be able to solve this cell. So this can't be a one. Can't be a two, three, four. Could be a five, but it can't be a six, seven, eight, or nine. We can actually solve that cell for a five. So let's mark that five. Nice, which gives us now a one, uh, one nine down here. So we'll solve the one nine, get rid of the five there. And now you see with this four, six, seven, you can actually solve this cell for a two. Nice. And then now you got the one nine down there. And with this two, uh, actually with this nine, look at that. You can do that one, you can do that nine. All right, moving on, moving on. Uh, get rid of these twos and you see four five seven good deal nice all right seven eight four eight made a lot of solves the fives are one of these two spots i'll mark that eight's up there six six is going to be in one of no is it going to be in one of those two spots i can't uh determine that just yet Let's look at some of these other cells here. So the one's got to be in one of those spots. It's not a rotation because of this one and then these two ones, right? Again, you're like, hey, where is the skyscraper at? I still don't see it. Well, we're getting there. We are getting there. Okay. And so let's look here. What can be in this cell? This can be a two or an eight. So I'm kind of finishing this naked triple, right? These three cells, two, five, eight. So the eights are now pointing pair. You probably notice they can only be... Oh, so this none of these cells can be an eight. So an eight's got to be in one of those cells. So I'll make that mark. And that's going to kind of help us come into play here. All right. And then I'm looking at the ones can be in one of those two spots. And then if we look down column six here, what can it be? It'd be a one, five, six, eight. So that could be a one or six. Uh, and you look five eight here. This actually can only be a one or a six. So this limits this cell here to five or an eight. Well, we already have a five, 
that has to be an 8. So we can solve that for an 8, which is helpful. Now we can solve this for 5 and this for an 8. Nice. See how that works. And then 8, 8, got the 8, got the 8s there. Nice. Let's circle back here. Remember how we solved this 9 on the 1? We can actually solve that for your 5. That's going to be your 1. And now this has to be a 4. Okay? Which makes this an 8. This is 7 and this is 5. Nice. And now we can eliminate 7 from right there and solve this cell for a 7. Okay. So we kind of clean up that area. So what is down here? You know, here you got a 2, 3, 8. Looks like that'd be a 2, 8. And actually, since this is no longer an 8, we can solve this cell for an 8. Sweet. And then what you're looking at here is a 2, 3. And then... Two, three, six. Okay, we have come to the spot in this puzzle where we can see our skyscraper. All right, do you see it? I'll give you a hint. It involves the tubes. Okay, I will show you what I'm talking about here. All right, look across row six and row eight. And I'll highlight those cells. And what I'll do is actually make these a little bit different color. All right, so skyscraper, just the way we do this is it's going to be, you're looking for two rows or columns, right? Where the cannon can only appear twice. And then it shares with those two rows, it shares a column. And the other one is in the same band, which is the same three uh, columns or rows, right? So you can see here, the twos are limited to two spots in rows six and eight. They share column five. This is a skyscraper. So either this cell right here is a two. If it's not a two, this has to be a two. This can't be a two. And then this would be a two. So a two has to be in one of these two yellow squares. So you can eliminate two from any cell that sees these two yellow squares. This is great. And you see how much work we did to get to this point where we start looking at single candidate advanced strategies, right? We worked quite a bit in this puzzle. So you can eliminate the two from right here because we know two's got to be in one of these spots and you can eliminate the two from right here. This is awesome. This is great logic. Uh, and I love when I can find these skyscrapers. They're about as popular as X-Wings. In fact, I did a tutorial on X-Wings and skyscrapers. I'll put a link here if you want to get more familiar with it. Also, subscribe to Smart Hobbies so you don't miss any new content on this channel. Now, since this is no longer a two, we can solve this cell or six, you can solve this cell for an eight, solve that for a five, and you can actually figure out that this is the yellow two that we were looking for. Two, five, and we can move on with our solves, right? Two, five, and that's gonna be a six. Okay, so let's remove the colors. I love that we were able to solve uh, that this cell was gonna be a two right there. Okay, and let's move on here. So now two, you got the six here. This is, makes this a four, and that's gonna be your six. That's gonna be your four. Nice, and then we only have one cell remaining in column three, so that is gotta be that five we were looking for. Nice, and we can eliminate you know, the six from right there. So we got a two, three here. We got two cells remaining. We need a six and a nine. Are we getting any love from over in the rest of uh, Rows one, two, or three? No, not yet, but we will get there. I'm not that worried about it yet, but hey, we got another full house right here. Always look for the full houses. Since this is a six, that's your eight, that's your six. Okay, and now this is creates your one, that's your six, and because of the Snyder mark, that's gotta be the one. And now we have this six, here's your nine, here's your six. See how that works? This is where it gets tricky, so you wanna follow through the end. If you make one mistake here, you might break the puzzle and think you did something wrong. So we want to keep following along and make sure that you solve this puzzle correctly the rest of the way. Now with this three, that's two, that's three, that's two, that's three. So we figured out where the twos went. Actually, kind of interesting that the twos can be in both spots. It, that is okay because there's another place for there to be a two along column five. Thought I'd point that out. And in fact, it has to be right here. All right, and now we got the four. We'll look up here. We don't have a four yet in block two. So we'll solve that for a four and solve this for a nine. Check out this 
other video where you'll see more than one skyscraper. You're going to love it. Don't forget to buy me a coffee link. I could appreciate your support. Thank you so much, Rock Rat Zero, for letting me feature puzzles on this channel. And thank you so much for watching.